were you supposed to be watching him at, at this time, you know, the day that they took him to the hospital? Shayna would get my 12-year-old son to watch Zion. If you pay him some money or my 16-year-old son, whoever you ask in the house, it wasn't no certain person that was supposed to watch anyone because if that was the case, why would she let me ride out with her? So, just so I have this clear, um, so in the morning, you, you guys all noticed breathing issues with him. You left with his mom and then came back, and is that when he went to the hospital? No, you on a whole different day. On the morning that I noticed the breathing issue, I was, I was in my bed. My son called me into the room, said someone was breathing. My first instant, because I'd I, I be panicking a lot, was he needed to go to the hospital. So you had, no, had you noticed breathing for a few days? No, no, just that morning. And then the day before that, was I don't think there was anything wrong with Zion. I was with his mother earlier that day. That's the day that you weren't home, the yeah, day before? Yeah, I wasn't there. We, we went out, we went and did some things. Then she left, went to do something for her mother. I went over to my sister's house and it's like that every day. Every day we, we're going to do something. It's just that that day before, we wasn't together as long as we would be the rest of the days. When I say we're always together, literally, we're always together. I, I didn't notice anything. I didn't feel anything. Okay, and so then the next day is when you noticed the breathing in the, in the morning and later on that day is that when he went to the hospital no the same time we noticed the breathing is when he went to the hospital so that same day yes like right 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 he away. went to the hospital but you didn't take him to the hospital no okay i, I just wanted to make sure I my husband and my oldest son took him to the hospital okay now is your husband re related to zion at all my husband Shayna is my husband's oldest son, mother's sister. Okay. You understand? Yes. You sure? Oldest son, mo mother's sister. Yes. Okay. And I think that's where a lot of the pointing the fingers come from, but I'm not sure, and I'm not going to point my fingers back at anyone. A child, life is lost, and I feel it, and I felt it from the day that I heard all about it. So it's not like I didn't care. It, it, it's not like I didn't care. I tried to do certain things that people wouldn't allow me to. I had to live with the threats towards my kids because of this. But everybody's so quick to point the finger, as I said before, but no one is investigating exactly what caused him to leave this earth. No one is really investigating that. And I think that, that, that right there should be everybody's main focus right now. Where was his mom when, you, when your husband took him to the hospital? Um, I'm not sure. I just, um, I was on the phone with her, and she was like, um, did I know exactly what was wrong? I said, I'm not really sure. There's something wrong with, it, with his breathing. And she was like, she was looking for his Medicaid card. Her sister was on the way to pick her up, and they would go to the hospital. That's, that's, that's all I know. So he was just staying with you at that time at your house? He has always stayed at my house. Always. Okay. The only reason why his sister wasn't there at the moment is because it was school day. Anything else you, you want to add about the, the charges and your side of the story? It's just that I would like for it to be a more thorough investigation. I don't think that it's fair that these police come to my home, lock me up, and then it's like whether you get found guilty or not, I'm already on the news for something that's horrible. I don't know if my kids seen it, but I got to look forward to whatever the emotions or whatever down the line they're going to go through because of this. I think that it should have been more, it just, people should have looked into it more than to just go and slander us over the news. And it hurts. It hurts because I'm in here. 
I'm in here, and I don't want to be here, but I'm here, and I'm willing to stay here until they prove whatever it is they need to prove. But my kids are out there, and I don't think it's fair that they should see the things that are being said on someone's news, not knowing if they're true. And when they come back not to be true, it's already damaged. It's already something said and done that's not true.